I, I love this one, Blunty. A lot of people don't realize that this is an issue. Uh, that is in the spring, uh, deer will have fawns and the, the, the deer will go to eat and they'll leave the fawns just sitting in a field and the fawns just sit still. And the problem is that the fawn's instinct is to stay exactly where they are. And if they're threatened or scared, they will just hunker down and try not to move. And then when the tractors come out to mow the field, then uh, the inevitable happens. And it's, it's really bad. Like, no one wants to mow over a baby deer. Yeah, the goal uh, is like literally to not do it, and it's very difficult to like get them out of the fields when you right. Right, when you don't because they don't want to so. go. They're like, I ain't going nowhere without my mom, and mom is like, yeah. I ain't going nowhere near that tractor. Yep. So mm-hmm. now there's a solution which is pretty cool, which is basically people are flying uh, flying drones with thermal imaging up in the sky uh, before mm-hmm. they mow, and then identifying all the baby deer and clearing them out. Um, yeah. So they can most safely, and the people don't have to walk the fields and hope they got them all, and there's no question. And yeah, it's a super cool, safe way to uh, to protect these baby deer. Yeah, I think we all can agree that's a good thing. Can we yeah. see some? Have we got any thermal footage that we can see? Oh, there we go. Everybody likes thermal footage. Hey, what are you doing? And maybe you can use the drone to scare the deer away. <laughs> see, they're right there. You can see the <laughs> yeah little spot there. Pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Drones making the world a better place.